Today we're going to be reviewing the Le Creuset Dutch Oven. This is part two in a series. And when I was thinking about what recipe to make for this video, unfortunately, my wife, she tested positive for COVID two days ago. So she's feeling really under the weather. And what's better when you're feeling under the weather than some good homemade chicken noodle soup. So today I'm going to be making some chicken noodle soup in the Le Creuset Dutch oven. It's going to be great and hopefully it'll make my wife feel a little bit better. So stick around. Okay, so I've got a couple of nice big chicken breasts here, boneless, skinless. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off some of this fat that's on here with a pair of shears. You don't have to go too crazy with this. Just clean it up a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is hit these with a little bit of olive oil. Rub that all over. Some salt. Some fresh ground black pepper. I'm just going to put a touch more olive oil into the Dutch oven and then place in our chicken breasts. So before these go into the oven, I'm going to take one of these Thermopro temp spikes, place that into one of the breasts, and then into the second. I'll place these chicken breasts into the oven, 375 degrees, until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got some carrots. I'm going to peel and dice these. A medium-sized onion. I'm going to dice that. I'm probably going to use about three or four cloves of garlic, diced real small. And I've got three stalks of celery. All right, you can see here now I diced up the carrot, the onion, the garlic, the celery, and I left one piece of celery like this, and I'm going to show you what we do with that. The carrot, onion, and celery together, that is a mirepoix in French. And then we're going to throw some garlic in there as well. You can see here now we've got one of the thermometers reading 165 degrees, and the other temp spike is 176, so these are definitely ready to come out of the oven. Place these into a bowl. Turn the heat on to about medium heat. Add in the carrots and the onion. And the celery. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt. Fresh ground pepper. herbs de Provence and of course some olive oil. We'll mix these around. I'm going to let these cook for about 10 minutes until the onions are translucent and the vegetables are nice and soft. Okay these have been going now for about seven or eight minutes. I'm going to add the garlic and give that a stir. These vegetables another two minutes and they'll be done. I'm going to go ahead and add in the chicken broth. I'm going to use another one of these, 32 ounces, so 64 ounces of chicken broth. Now if you make your own chicken broth, that's even better. Just give that a stir, let that come up in temperature. Alright, so I'm going to show you now what I do with this bouquet garnia. I've got rosemary here with some thyme. So I'm going to fold the rosemary and I'm going to place it into the celery just like that. And then I'm going to fold the thyme over, do the same thing, just place it right in and then we'll take a string, we'll tie a string around this and we'll just snip these off. bits of string and there we have our beautiful bouquet garni and we'll place that into 
the soup and that's going to give it a nice herbal flavor. Okay, so now we are going to shred the chicken. First thing I'm going to do is pull out the Thermal Pro twin spike. And then I'm just going to kind of cut this so that it's kind of tears apart a little bit. Instead of being like cut into cubes, I'm just going to kind of like tear it apart so it kind of shreds a little bit. Just kind of shred it up. Broth is looking pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. Give that a stir. All right, we're just gonna simmer this for a little bit and then we'll add our noodles. All right, I'm gonna give this a little taste. I'm gonna add in a packet of bouillon. I feel like it needs a little bit more flavor right now. Some more salt. This is garlic salt. This is Lowry's garlic salt. If you don't use this stuff, this stuff is great. A little bit of pepper. And a little bit more of this Herbes de Provence. This is my favorite seasoning. Give that a stir. Right, we're going to go ahead and add in Two cups of egg noodles. Stir that in. And I'm going to bring this to a boil. Cook these for about five minutes. Okay, I'm going to lower the heat now to remove the bouquet garni. And one thing I like to do at the last minute with all my soups and stews is just add in a couple of tablespoons of butter. And we'll let that melt and then we'll be ready to serve. All right, now the moment we've been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for. We're gonna give this soup a try. Piping hot. And here we go. Get some of that chicken, celery, some noodle, maybe a little carrot and onion in there as well. Hmm. That is hot and delicious. <laughs> you can see how this would would help you out if you're feeling under the weather. You could just Put your whole face right in the bowl and get that steam up into your into your nasal cavities. Loosen up any passageways. Mmm. That's really, really tasty. I think my wife's gonna appreciate this. A little more chicken. Mmm. That is fantastic. Give this recipe a try. If you like this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of the Le Creuset Dutch oven and this wonderful soup that I made tonight. And like I said, I hope it helps my wife with her COVID. And of course, keep on cooking.